Okay, everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Fidel. He is a physicist, apparently getting a master's degree or apparently getting his PhD degree. When he is met with physics that he doesn't believe or understand, he likes to hurl ably slurs around. This is absolutely inappropriate behavior. I'm going to show you step by step the things he likes to do when met with physics that he doesn't understand, as well as the way he likes to attack people when met with physics he doesn't understand. I want to preface this with, I'm not doing this out of revenge or any sort of emotional reason. I'm doing this to show you guys the the blatant step-by-step -step fashion that people like to dismiss other people's ideas with, especially people who think they know what they're talking about, but are just blinded by their own arrogance. Let's take a look at what Fidel likes to do here. I still took it upon myself to share the actual background information I have for my research with Fidel here, and he chose to just refuse to look at it. Now let's look at Exhibit A here. I would like to point out, this is an introductory course to Earth Sciences in the introductory section of the introductory course. The very first thing it says is the Earth rings like a bell. His response to being shown the introductory course information that shows and proves my claims of the vibrational modes of the Earth and where we would find these nodal and antinodal points on the Earth. Please go back to uni. <laughs> then upon being given further information to additionally add more basis to my claims, he wants to throw out his basis of authority that he's in the process of getting his PhD. I don't think that matters whether you're right or wrong, actually, because you could be getting your PhD and still not understand this stuff. It's kind of a shame. I will be clear. I told him at every step of the way, like, dude, you keep being willfully ignorant about this. I will make a video about this because this is an example of what I keep seeing over and over from people like you. You just refuse to look at the information and then hurl insults, then hurl your authority, then tell me I need to go back to school or somehow. And it, this is basic geophysics, honestly. And I'm a little embarrassed for my field because of people like Fidel here and their behavior. And I know that this is how they treat other people on the internet as well, which is just as inappropriate. Let's continue on. As you can see, he likes to continue hurling more ableist slurs, attacking my sanity without engaging in any of the content or any of the actual discussion, just ad hominem after ad hominem after ad hominem. Doesn't I'm not really sure what's going on with people like this. This is this is something I really do think needs to be finally pointed out. And I don't think anyone else is pointing it out within my field of physics. Like in textbook fashion, we see the next step where they usually pick some sort of crazy idea that they know of and immediately claim that you're one of those people too. Because he can't actually engage with any of the stuff. He can't prove me wrong on any of the things. He just immediately says, oh, it's like I'm talking to a flat earther. Because if he can make it look like, it, I don't know if it's just to him he thinks this. What they do is they try to make it seem like, well, this person's crazy. And I'm saying you're like this person. So that means you're crazy too. It doesn't work that way. It's either a straw man argument or... Uh, false analogy. There's like so many logical fallacies that are just red flagging all over the place here. Again, like textbook fashion, we get to the point where he can still no longer engage with any of the content and immediately resorts to Tesla wasn't a scientist. He was an inventor. He was wrong on so many things. I can say for a fact, you have not read anything he's written when you speak like that. You're giving it away, even though you think you're getting the upper hand here. You're just proving your ignorance on this topic. And now I could sit here and continue to go through all of these really childish ableist slurs they like to hurl, where they just continue going in circles, acting like whatever you show them isn't real, or just they flat out ignoring it, and then claiming whatever they want. But I decided to go the different route here. I decided to think, hey, you know, let's do some open source intelligence gathering on Fidel here. Let's uh, take a look at his university. Yep, just a coincidence there. Just a coincidence. 
because it always clicks to me really fast on these people that like, oh, no, they get it. There's no way this person who has a master's in physics and is getting their PhD in physics doesn't understand this stuff. It's just, it's, it's not functionally possible for some of these guys. And I will say, guys, it's never a girl. It's never once been a girl. It's always some dude who just absolutely should know this. I'm going to reference to Carlos the last time we went through all this. Absolutely should know all of the physics and electrical engineering involved in all of this stuff. But then publicly makes a display to attack me. Hmm. This is a quite the coincidence, no? This, this, one would, I don't really know how to respond to this. It, it kind of really leads me to believe that I'm stepping on Fidel's non-public proprietary research that he's doing. Possibly research that if is no longer proprietary, he would lose funding for his research. So he's going out to try and attack me. To make me look crazy because I might be divulging his proprietary research. I don't know. That's 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 speculation. I can't really assume. Though it is a little bit weird that this is now the second expert to have just come out and publicly attack me, call me all sorts of ableist slurs, while refusing to use any kind of science whatsoever to even engage with a single thing I'm saying. Even though that's pretty much the only thing I'm responding back with. I'm not perfect, but, you know... 99% of the things I'm responding back with, here's proof, here's more 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 proof. I will deluge you with more evidence if you really want to take the time. But I find this very interesting. His university is just perfectly keyed up to the distances from the Great Pyramid. Yeah, that's really just a coincidence. And he's getting a PhD at said university and he's publicly attacking me using absolutely no physics, just outright attacking my sanity while he does so. This is a very interesting trend that I'm now seeing between a couple different experts here. I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you think is going on here? Do you think I'm stepping on his research or do you think this is just a coincidence?